All right, now we looked at all the problems in component land. Let's look at object land. Let's add a mesh cube to the scene. This volume will print. Its normals are facing all out. Therefore, it is a good part. The part is only two millimeters by two millimeters by two millimeters. These are things I can say. Shift D to duplicate it. These two surfaces are two different volumes. Volume one has components, volume two has components. They're both two millimeters. Now, if I wanted them to print together, I would have to join them so they share components. Object, join. Now, if I hit tab, you can see the components on both of them, therefore they're sharing components. Notice that the dimensions now are two by five by two because the two are so the measurements across the two volumes are dictated across the whole entire span uh, even the space in between the two so when you when you go like this the measuring becomes a little bit harder when they're sharing components and being two separate volumes now volume one if it clashes into volume two like this that's totally legit it will print here, it will print there, it will print even the colliding geometry that's occurring here. Is it good? In 3D printing, fine. It works out well, I've done it a million times. No error messages will occur using this method. The only time you have to worry is if they're not sharing components. And then you don't have to worry about it. Everything else is pretty fruit you know, pretty well free game. There's things that you cannot do. Let's say um, if I went to print this, it will not print correctly because object one is here and there is a space between here and the open area down below. So this would have to have some kind of supporting geometry, it's called. Another thing that's really bad to do is let's say I went to go print something and object one was just a little bit below object two like this. So in this case, when it went to print, it wouldn't print the first layer for this object right here. It would only print the first layer for this one. Therefore, it would start to sag and have no supporting geometry here. So if you want to share a nice flat level plane, I've always found this method to be good. Let's say I have this one above that one. I can hit tab to get into edit mode, go to the vertice, grab them all, and then hit R and scale them till they're absolutely flat and then reposition them back where they were. So there we go. So really only one thing you have to worry about is that. Um, the other thing you have to worry about, but it's breaking the first laws, is let's say one a volume has normals that are facing in different directions. That's bad. No matter how many things you have joined together, if you have one volume in that that joined group and it's bad, the whole part's bad. So always check your normals, always keep back face culling on, and you should be good to go. Now the whole part's bad. Good. All right. That's it for object. Now let's go on to other things.